this is a force that was out there that we didn't really know was out there. And we didn't know that she'd lit the fuse. We all laughed at Sarah Palin or liked her if we liked her. Nobody knew. I didn't know. It's the beauty of journalism. Until we went back and started interviewing people and started looking back at things and connecting the dots and suddenly we said, oh my God, Sarah Palin is the Genesis moment. This is patient zero. Something to understand about America is that the polarization is actually a good thing in, a, in some measure out there. We should, we're supposed to be arguing with each other. We're supposed to be liberals and conservatives and Republicans and Democrats and Tea Party people. And I think it's, it's why we strive so hard to make the films as unadvocacy oriented as they can be. And they're advocating something else, which is dialogue, understanding of both sides. I encourage you to keep in the back of your mind this idea that polarization is is, is good, but how did it go so far? Why did it go so far? What are the bridges that can be built? What, what, what's happened with dialogue? What's happened around issues? Uh, are there some issues that are just un... Uh, are we incapable of solving some big issues now because they just, have we've gone so far?